I think the key to imitating a PBS fundraiser is to talk quietly and reasonably. So you're totally incapable of doing that. I am completely that. incapable. I'll be like, uh, 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 and start juggling. But we here at Catholic, what is PBS? P Public Broadcast, at CBS. No, we can't be CBS. <laughs> Let's take it. That's a tool of the devil. I'm just kidding. Uh, we here at Catholic Public Radio. <laughs> C Thank you. CPR? For C CPR. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's appropriate on a number of different levels. Just, keep, <laughs> just keeping it alive, barely. <laughs> oh, that could be the forward to your autobiography. <laughs> CPR. <laughs> Hi. I'm Father Joe Krupp, pastor at Holy Family of Grand Flank at St. Mark and Goodrich. And I'm here to answer your question with my lovely assistant, Father Peter Lawrence. I'm the associate pastor at Holy Family and St. Mark's. And the beard thing, we're doing this, folks. Seriously. I'm pretty excited for Me it. Me too. I'm going to name mine Reginald Pole. <laughs> you're, you're naming your beard. Oh, I am I Reginald Pohl. <laughs> All right. So would you like to, we've sure. got three left. We'll do these quick because we know, uh, frankly, the person holding the camera has to go. Something about family. How are we supposed to pray the Our Father in church? Are we supposed to hold hands, hold, hold our hands out? It's confusing. Ooh. Careful how you answer this one. Yeah. You want me to? I've done this. I've done sure. This. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Or do you I'll, want to? I'll. I'll I can. Uh, sure. I'll. I'll answer, and you can. You can correct Rocket. me when I'm wrong. <laughs> what he's saying is evil. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Launch so, that missile. What I. What I would say is because uh, this is. Uh, this is a great question because it seems like depending on what parish you go to, there's all kinds of different practices, right? You've got the. Um, you got some places where everybody's holding hands, others where no one is, and sometimes. Um, while you're answering the question, I can't. No, I'm just kidding. That. I can't either. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, what what I what I would say is that it does it um, in the missal itself. So the Roman missal, which gives us the directions for how we pray mass um, and everything, it does direct the priest to have his hands extended uh, that way. Um, it does not give any indication for uh, the laity to do so. Um, and so the way I've always heard it explained is that uh, it is a, a priestly gesture, a, a priestly uh, prayer. Um, however, there have been different, um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, different, different, different practices, sure. maybe. Good way different customs it. at different parishes where uh, that's, that's grown up. Um, but if we're, if we're just going by what's in the missal, there isn't a directive for um, the lady to hold hands. It does direct the priest to have his hands extended during the Our Father prayer. Um, but I don't know if you want to have any uh, any other thoughts on that. I don't. I mean, I don't personally like the hand holding, right? Uh, just because I don't know why we're doing it, right? Sure. And I, yeah. I've heard people, well, it's a prayer of unity. The whole mass is a prayer yeah. of unity, mm -hmm. right? And like when it, the way the dead fish thing, right? Yeah, yeah that one like, drives me nuts. <laughs> yeah. And then the uh, kung fu grip drives me nuts. Yes, you know. So I don't know. I've told people when they've asked, I said, if you're asking. I think the proper position is is a prayer position, mm -hmm. right? Our, the, for the Our for, Father, yeah. right? And um, but at the same time, I'm not trying to control everything either. So right. well, actually, I am. <laughs> My Little will do you is know. unfolding. <laughs> My will is unfolding over time. So there you go. Uh, that's our opinion, as well as the I, I'm uh, what Father Peter said about there's not really a, an explicit direction, although there are priests who go nuts about this topic. Yeah, and, yeah. That, and that's I, I, and kind of like you said, your your uh, your opinion. Not understand why we do. I'd say I, I fall in the same category as I try to just stick as close as I can to the rubrics so it's written in the missile. And so if something isn't written in there, so then I kind of have the same question, then why are we doing it, right, if it's not something the church has asked us to do? So yeah. I hope that helps. All right. <gasps> oh, 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 it's okay. right side up. It wasn't upside down for once. Oh, so. wow. You hate me, whoever <laughs> submitted this. Uh, okay. Um, and just know this. We will get killed whatever we say on this. <laughs> then All I'm right. going to be quiet and you get to answer. <laughs> oh, well, Peter's really happy to answer this question. I have heard lots of contradicting stories lately. Is yoga against Catholic beliefs? Ooh. Okay. Uh-oh. I know. Because here's the thing. 
All right. Sorry. I whatever was, you say. Yeah. I'm just dead. Just say whatever you say. And I am going to contradict you. And that's how we're going to leave this question. <laughs> only one of us will die. That's right. Exactly. Sweet. So every, yeah. everyone can pick sides. Team Father Joe and Team Father Peter. <laughs> exactly. And um, if it's me who's taken, you can have my stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal. When 1999, 1999, um, we had uh, Bishop Carl here. And he and I were talking and I had just had a knee procedure and they gave me these stretches and I was told by, I was doing them in our gym, right? And this parent came up and lit me up like a Christmas tree. You're doing yoga. I'm like, A, I'm not clear on what that is, right? Cause this was 99. And, uh, <clears throat> and I apparently whatever stretches they gave me, this person said were yoga. So I went to uh, Uncle Carl Mengling, superstar action figure, Episcopal Mitre sold separately. And he said, well, if they are, and your doctor gave you these stretches, it's it's fine. Uh, over time, I have been inundated on both sides of this topic, it, it truly. And I confess, it, okay, some saying it's evil, right? It's participating in a false religion. And I've had others who said it's only participating in a false religion if you use religious tones with it. I have not come to an answer that leaves me at peace. And in the end, I do, I, <clears throat> when it comes to spiritual things, I always try to do the safest possible option. So I avoid it. I do. Perfect. Right? If I don't know, if I sit there, I have read and I've heard absolutely insane people on both sides of this and completely unreasonable people on both sides. I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, the key for me, frankly, was Father Amorth, right? Mm. The, one of the world's top exorcists was like, yeah, don't do that. Mm. And that's when I went, yeah, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so, And not that I was ever in, but um, he believed it opened people's spirits in a way that wasn't inspired by Christ and therefore dangerous. I guess the one thing I would say uh, in addition to that, and I, I think I think that I would actually fall in kind of the the, the same kind of category in the sense that um, I, I think it is kind of the, what seems to make sense to me, the way I've heard it explained is that kind of middle road where if we are simply talking about the stretches themselves or a particular exercise. So you're using it to rehab an injury or you're doing it um, for some kind of, yeah, physical exercise or physical activity, then there wouldn't be anything wrong with that. However, and this might be where a lot of people take issue, I could certainly see if it's being done in a class and if you, if in the, within the class, it's not just the movements and it's not just about the stretches. Yeah. It also is talking about opening yourself up to energies or right. chakras and all kinds. Right. So I could certainly see where that would then be um, opening ourselves up to spiritual forces that are not in obedience to Christ and where that, that could be part of the problem. So the, where I would, um, I guess I would see it that way that if it's simply at the level of doing the exercises as, a, as like you would any other exercise as movements to help um, you know, be in better shape with your body, um, then there wouldn't be anything wrong. But uh, the question is, are we able to do, are we putting ourselves in situations like classes where there's people leading us right. through that? We don't know where they're at spiritually. And maybe they are leading people through different uh, chants or routines or whatever else it might be. I don't, I don't have any background in Me that either. myself. Yeah. But um, then that could be, you know, a, a portal for, you know, opening ourselves up to things that we don't want any involvement in. So that's a great way to put it. If it's just stretches, great. If they start talking about channeling energies and chakras, those are specifically things we are absolutely right. to yes. avoid because whatever again whatever innocent intent the people offering them have the things playing around in that world exactly they don't yeah. play so yeah all right last question we gotta go quick don't we okay uh i understand that the saints or anyone in heaven can intercede for us in prayer can the souls in purgatory also intercede can answer that really yeah, fast rock that big dad we don't know <laughs> so thank you for tuning <laughs> wrap it up that's it <laughs> 
both <laughs> got to get yeah. the lefty in. Yeah. Uh, no, really, um, there are, you read the different saints, uh, different mystics on this, um, and the catechism of the Catholic Church, Church has not spoken definitively on this. There are different opinions. There are some that say the holy souls in purgatory are completely dependent on our prayers and on the prayers of the saints in heaven, and they, they might not even necessarily be aware of us here on earth. There's other people that say, yes, we can, or they can pray for us. Um, and so we, we simply, we don't know. Uh, we, yeah. we are called to pray for them, uh, whatever Absolutely. else the case might be. But as far as I'm aware, the church hasn't said anything definitively to that question as, uh, as whether or not the um, souls in purgatory can intercede for us. I don't know if you... I'm, I'm glad he said that because I would have just said, yes, they can pray. And I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out. That that would have been a gap in my coverage. you oh. know. I, uh, but again, I do think, and I can't ever say this enough, pray for the dead. Amen. Right? Yes. Pray for the dead. Uh, right now, think of three people you know who've gone to be with the Lord, and I don't care how long ago, say a prayer for each of them. I'm serious. Uh, uh, I remember, I'm trying to remember the name of the saint, but who had a vision of entering heaven and all of these people running up and thanking them for praying. Mm. All right? So uh, let's do that, okay? And in terms of asking them to pray, it certainly can't hurt. You know, oh, yeah. asking it's, someone yeah. in purgatory to pray certainly can't hurt. Um, I assume it's kind of like an Outback gift card where it just goes somewhere else. <laughs> I think that's exactly how it works. <laughs> it's in the catechism. It's just, I, <laughs> this is I, why I shouldn't be in charge of anything. It all comes back to food for me. <laughs> food and beards now. Yeah. So I think uh, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that we've scandalized and angered most people... Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, please like this one. Maybe don't share it so much. I don't want to get screamed at by a bunch. Of, I don't want to get beaten to death with a yoga mat. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already composing my email to send to you anonymously. <laughs> <laughs> would that make me a martyr? Seriously, because it would be awesome because you were killed for, you know, trying to preach the gospel, but it'd be awful because you were beaten to death with a yoga mat. You know what I mean? But there's no... There are worse ways to go. That's true. Uh, well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and even if you didn't, we made it. Uh, be sure and click, like, share, and uh, send... Let's get that money going. I want to see Father Peter with long hair. And uh, what else? Oh, if you have other questions, not about yoga, send them to the Church of the Holy Family Facebook page, and we'll get right after them. Uh, on behalf of the wonderful Father Peter and I, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Bye-bye.